Hello and welcome. Shay here, back with another stream. Let's give 2.3 a go and see what's new. I don't know what's new. I've literally come home from work, so... Ha! Ah, compensation! Ha ah. ha! I'll read them later. Recently. Only ten more left. <laughs> Still. So we have the new hangouts with Beidou and Garo. Ooh, the new Rift Hound. So we need to do that. Albedo. Eula. Bennett. And Rosaria. Ooh, let's if I let's get these out of the way. All very exciting. It's been a long time since I've, I've played with Albedo. Last time I played with Albedo, it was when it came out in Dragon Spine. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now I know why I did not pull for him. Moment of birth. Okay. Exit. Yeah, I'm still have the same feelings. This may be um, the second time I might skip uh, Albedo's banner. Let's try Euler again. I mean, she's very uh, pretty. I condemn you. Come a little closer, Blitz. You're open. Beg for mercy. You're in for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. Let's spark things up. Flood of frost. Crush! Okay. Kind of like the uh, delayed um, burst. Quick explosion that she has. Ah, Benito. Ah, good boy. Thanks, guys. Nice and spicy. Eat this. Let's light it up. Out of the way. The frying pan into the fire. I don't know what position that is. <laughs> it's like, hmm. <laughs> now, I love Rosaria. I love her aesthetic, I love her outfit. And her abilities are nice. Punishment! 
Love her. I need to I need to use her a lot more. I really do. So now that we've done all the test runs. Okay. Oh yeah, we've got two new these. If I can't cut him. Mm. Can we open them? Obviously, good boy first. Hmm. I feel like there's something I forgot to do. Mm, I tidied the courtyard. Nope. Can I open up the other one as well? Just. Go boy first. Once there was a glorious. Okay. So we have all of these to do now. Do the 50 wishes, gain a total of 12 stars in Spiral Abyss. The huge. Ah, they've counted my domains. Well, that's great. Obviously, here we go with the double banners. Viola and Albedo. And obviously, we have the new one. Um, da -da -da. Just may as well do that. I'm not going to pull. Because I'm still... I've got like 19 days to just with these two. I did not ask for that. I... No, I did not ask for that. I asked for that. Thank you. Right, domains. Unknown slumbering court. Where are we here? Oh! We're here. Okay. And this is where the new ones are. So these are the new... Oh wow, wait, that's really... Oh my god, that's really long. Wait. When the character equipped in this artifact set heals a character in the party, a sea-dyed foam will appear for three seconds, accumulating the amount of HP recorded from healing, including overflow healing. At the end of the at the end of the duration, the sea-dyed foam will explode, dealing damage to nearby opponents based on 90% of the accumulated healing. This damage is calculated. Similarly, similarly, <laughs> that word <laughs> to reactions such as electrocharge and superconduct, but it is not affected by elemental mastery. Oh, really? Character level or reaction damage bonuses. Only one C dyed foam can be produced every 3.5 seconds. Each C dyed foam can accumulate up to 30,000 HP, including overflow healing. There can be no more than one C-dyed foam active at any given time. This effect can still be triggered even when the character who is using this artifact set is not on the field. Huh. I feel like this would be great for Kokomi. But I've not got Kokomi, so it's all sad. Oh, sad. And then obviously we have the new one, which is Husk of Opulent Dreams, which is great for defense sets. Now, I will be farming this quite a lot for Ito. Um, so, we are... Well, let's just go. Can I go now? Activate. Nav oh, okay. Right, can I go here? Or... Oh, I, I need to go there first and activate it. Okay. Fair. Fair. We're talking Genshin.
Is it under us? Ah, it is! You sneaky little thing! Okay, here we go. Uh, no electro or hydro. Electro and hydro. Ooh. So, first of all... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play it a little bit safe. Um, so, right at Shogun, Zongli, keeping you. I will be buggered if. Will I be buggered if um, they have a uh, fire. What are they called now? Abyss Mages? Yeah, Fire Abyss Mages. Okay. Oh, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just let's just go. Oh. Solidify. Order guide you. I'm glad I have Chi-Chi. Illusion shattered. Can you not? Well, why do you need water for this? Stabilize. I will have order. Torn to oblivion. Shine down. Maybe it's for superconduct. Let's go big, come on. Condensed resin, come on, let's go big. Okay, we've got one of each. This is nice. Okay. HP, defense, crit damage, HP. Eh, copium. HP. Oh. Okay, okay. Let's do it again, let's do it again. Oh, we got this, we got this. We, we will be doing this a lot. Like, normally it will be the... Um... The domain in the Dragon Spine, but now that we have this, uh, we'll be farming this for Ito. I really want a nice set for Ito because I do plan on pulling for Ito. Thank you. Inazuma shines eternal.
Oh, we got the two piece. Okay. Attack, crit rate, HP, energy recharge. <laughs> All that defense. <laughs> Now let's do one more and then carry on with uh, something else. Order guide you. Life goes on. There is no escape. Torn to oblivion. Illusion shattered. Solidify. I will have order. Faster pet. Lament. Oh, yes. And one more. Defense! Attack, defense, elemental mastery, element... Uh... Why are you giving all the defense stats on the other side? I want the other one! <laughs> right. Slumbering, sl 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 slumbering court. Ugh, I don't know why I can't speak today. Huh. Right, nothing there. Do -do -do. Is there a mini quest to uh, activate the Rift Hound? Let's just do the commissions. Because we've got to do all the daily limit commissions if we want more of those, like, primo gems. Huh. <laughs> Wheel of life. Shine down. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> That's really bad luck. Ow. Rude. Thank you. Rude. So there was one, where's... Not here, not here, not there. Not there. Oh look, Rift Hound. Ooh. So do I just go straight for it, or... Like... Why is there only three? Why is there only three? Oh. Illusion shattered. Got stuck. Stabilize. Right. <laughs> 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 
Ah, I'm a copper toe. No yank. Shine down. Mine. Nice and easy. Oh yeah, since it's been like a few days, these are probably respawned. Mine. Uh, the Gourmet Supreme House Break Free Thinking. Wait, I need this. I need this. Yes, I need this. This is the one I'm missing. Yes! Okay. Hey, Trella. Nice to see you again. Anything I can help you with? Yes. Okay. What was this one now? Um... Oh, wait. Oh, damn. Wait. I'm going to press it right now. We need to go to the other person. I've been waiting for this forever. For, like, a really long time. She's tracking down more ingredients in the ultimate season that she wanted to. She was on search. Out of town, don't worry. However, I do need your help with something. Although a lot of fresh ingredients I don't have, the inspiration is a breakthrough. Uh, look at these seagrass. Sea. Oh, they are crayfish. Oh. I got to Leeway. Leave it to me. We'll go to Leeway. Go if Chef Mao has any ideas. It would be great if we actually link. Who knows, we might even get something. Oh, uh, like Boom Shakalaka. Yes, okay. So, yes. Chef Mao. Uh, Chef Mao. Right. He really has quite some determination. He said he wanted to travel the world for a breakthrough. I never thought he would actually do it. Still, it looks like it here. Okay, perhaps uh, Xiang Ling. She's always been a very creative cook. Maybe she can figure out a solution. But she's gone to Chinsi Village to pick bamboo shoots at the moment. So she isn't here. It'll take her a while to find her. Uh, Shudong must be waiting anxiously. Let me see if I can solve his problem. Seagrass, sea ganadoma, and sakura bloom. Mm, strange ingredients. Could you please go and find some jinchu chili and fowl for me? No problem. Oh. <laughs> like, you're reading a sign through the wall. Okay. Uh, yeah. I know we've got a lot. There you go. We've got a lot of chilies. Hi, welcome to chilies. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, R.I.P. dude. Uh, that should be enough. Hold on a second. Let's see what I can do to these ingredients. Okay, there we go. Uh, hopefully this will solve the problem. Okay. But, didn't they say... Apparently, like, if we find any Shingling. Oh! <laughs> you rude! <laughs> I only just appeared here! And you hit me! As if I just got a head. Oh! Hey, is you? What brings you here? Uh, want me to whip something tasty up again? Ah, handling ingredients from Inazuma using techniques from Leeway. Hmm, 
you come to the right chef. I've heard of an Inazuman technique where you wrap ingredients in flour and fry them. It's called tempura, and it's served with a special dipping sauce. I was particularly interested in a dipping sauce when I tried making tempura. I've tried so many ingredients, whopper flour, nectar, flaming flour. Is it made with slime condensate by any chance? No, no, <laughs> it, isn't pre it isn't appreciated for this dish. Still, I prefer adding the powder from electro seasoning wings uh, to give it a bit more layered texture. Just in case you forgot, I'll write it down. Then you can show to Xing Dong. <sighs> I wish uh, I could go to Inazuma. There must be so many ingredients I haven't used yet. Okay, Xing Ling's hang full of notes. So... Okay. Uh, I like it. it says talk to Garo, and I'm like, uh. okay. So we've got the chef Mao, and we've got the uh, Shingling stuff. So let's be careful. Do do do. Accidental encounter. Huh. Reminds me of something else. What did Chef Mao say? Wait. Is it this? I'm actually quite like, uh, but it's definitely this, isn't it? Yes. Yay! There we go! And I think that unlocks... If I'm not mistaken, that unlocks the... Um... Oh, it should have unlocked the... Uh... The quest for it? Okay, maybe, maybe apparently not. Ah, disappointed. <laughs> but at least we got the achievement. Uh, consult Xingling regarding special cooking method. At least I've got that now. Um, but yeah, there's still one more. Um, uh, gentleman in broad daylight. Oh! <laughs> I'm not gonna find it all the way there, am I? <laughs> oh, I know what this one is. I have to be super sneaky. I can always kill them all, though. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> there he is! This is what we wanted! <laughs> Sort of, yes. Okay, defeated the monster near the camp. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the idiot, yes. He's an idiot. Can't believe he actually dared to run off. Yes. Okay, I'll go with you. Okay, thank you. We'll rendezvous at this point. Okie dokie. Right. Okay. Thank 
God love PS5 <sighs> speed. Oh. Here he is. Right, you. I've been waiting for this quest. What brings you here? I'm here the, for the big feast you promise. <laughs> right. Come on, Julie. Oh. Typical Julie. Yeah. We are fly. There is no escape. Inazuma shines eternal. Come on, Julie. Time to go back. <laughs> Shudong needs you. I am what? You are expecting too much out of it. <laughs> Shudong has quite a bit of a swagger. A chef has to carry himself in a certain way. <laughs> Kairagi. Not monsters. How did you get involved with them? Uh, yes, I'll come with you. Are we going to de uh, defeat some Kairagi? Yeah, we are, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Let's just pull this person as well. It's my lucky day. Solidify. Order guide you. Fight goes on. Yeah. My blade. <sighs> Evil conqueror. Tear. <sighs> Now you shall perish. Ugh. Sorry that you have to see me like this. Uncle Manuni, are you okay? Just a few lost grounds, no big deals, blah blah blah. Now, Julie, could you tell us the whole story then, please? Blah blah blah. Yes, yeah, it's simple. I just wanted to bring him some food. You only met him once. Why do we trust him so much? I'm sure he's a good man. He was starving, but he gave the food to us instead of keeping it for himself. Anyone who is willing to share food with others when they are hungry must be a good person. Your concept is good, and evil is so straightforward and pure. You must live in some fairy tale world instead of Tavat. Ah, I think she's right, though. <laughs> I agree. Those who are told their honor and decency when they are hungry can't be all that bad. Anyway, Julie, do continue. So, I made some chicken mushroom skewers and wanted to try my luck finding him where we first met. I did see him there. As it turned out, I was just about to say hello when I noticed that he was confronting some karage. I wanted to get away, but I was spotted by them. I'll take it from there. Yeah, okay. Now we heard the story. Okay. After Inazuma's sudden change, we all left the Shogunate one after another to make our own living. Is that how you're making it live in? <laughs> so straightforward. Uh, yes, we don't have any way to make money like we used by the sword. Uh, since then, uh, I'll become the Karage as you see them, making a living by plundering. Okay. 
Uh, my former comrades seem to be short-handed, so they have come every day to persuade me to join them. I refuse every time. Today, when Julie appeared, they thought that I must have joined some clan or another and trying to get rid of them, so they attacked us. Uh, and an unreasonable bunch, which is they are. Uh, well, guess you won't be skipping breakfast from now on. <laughs> that would be great. Awesome. Yay, it's a big feast. Yay. The situation is... Okay, awesome. In case I might be your service. Yay! Traveller, have a rest. I'll take care of it. You just wait here. Okay, time to get some side. Okay, cool. Do I get a new recipe? Yay! I got a new recipe. <laughs> and a new achievement. Yay. Finally, I've done this. Oh wait, it was this one, wasn't it? There it is. Oh, this is what I was looking for. There we go. Done. Okay. Wasn't there something about um the tree being? Wait, I swear there was something about a tree. In fact, let's do fortune today. <laughs> Uh, try your luck. Come on. Let's let's try our luck today. Good fortune! Yay! A, d a day like any other, a routine that the body and mind are accustomed to, and an item will appear to replace something you lost, which will bring you great happiness. Relations with the acquaintance you see most frequently will improve, and some may even become the best of friends. Even the most ordinary of days can become a treasured memory. Your lucky object for the day is shining crystal cores. <laughs> crystal flies are tiny life forms born of coalesced energy elemental energy sorry and the elements are blessings promised by the world to the people who inhabit it every time i just hear those senses together in all who inhabit it i just think of the spongebob no i need you I hate that it's not there yet. Okay, um, do do do. So we're just gonna go straight to the Rift Hound. Oh yeah. Cause I know I need these for Ito, <laughs> definitely. Ooh. He has his own little entrance! Oh, nice! Solidify. Okay. Illusion shattered! Lament! Worthless! Tear! Worthless! Wait, there's a tornado? Use Geo. Solidify. I will have order. Ooh. 
You need oh right. Okay, he wasn't too bad. And he's just gone without a trace. Okay, bye! <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, this is what we need. Okay, we got a cool amount. Okay. Okay. Just okay. Interesting, it was kind of fun. Fortune slip. Yeah. Okay, why did I get to get a fortune slip? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, the King of the Rift Wolves. The Golden Rift Lord's attack can apply stacks uh, of the corrosion status, which will cause all the characters in the party to continuously lose HP. In combat, the Warlord will summon Rift Hound Skulls to provide it with shield. It can also enter the Elemental Devourer state, uh, which... Which... Where was I? which will decrease its geo resistance and increase its own offensive capabilities attack the rift hound skulls with geo damage to destroy the golden wolf lord's shield swiftly okay so we did well we did well okay shall calm it okay <laughs> Don't need to go crazy with all the all the panting. <laughs> and that's about it, really. Have we done everything apart from like the new hangouts? Let's do the hangout. Well, let's just do some more of these slumbering court. Let's just do some more. In fact, we may as well go to Inazuma City and you know get some more. There you go. I'm actually kind of good. I was kind of hoping for like the albedo story. Wait, is that even a thing? Wait. Notices. Let's have a look at the notices. I will just be back one second. Notices. Okay. Games. Updates. Yes. Summary. Yes. Okay. Content preview. There we go. Shadows and Miss Snowstorms. Uh, preview page. Du -du -du. Okay. Genshin Labs. Discord. Facebook. Twitter. YouTube. Official Reddit. Official site. Customer services. Events. Okay. Uh, there it is. Shadow and Miss Snowstorm events. Take part and obtain the event exclusive weapon Cinnabar Spindle Sword. Uh, the event duration starts on the 25th at 9 a.m., which is tomorrow at 9 a.m. Great. <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> and then the next one's on the 1st at 3 p.m. Um, the 1st? Really? The 1st? A week later? Like, a week today? 
And then the next day's Thursday. So it's every three days, basically. No, I may as well just wait until the fourth, really. No, can't wait until the fourth because it's the Endwalker Early Access expansion release. Uh, why you do this, Genshin? Why? Uh, why you do this? Why you do this? This is going to be a hectic two weeks. Or even three weeks. Uh. Okay, so there we go, guys. There we go. It is tomorrow at 9 a.m. UK time. Uh, should I do it? Should I do another stream for you guys tomorrow? I don't know. But anyway, we're going to continue it. We're going to, we're going to continue. We are going to do some more slumbering courts. We're going to start farming for our, our boy, Ito. We need to get him some good artifacts. Uh, da -da -da -da. So yeah. We're going we're gonna to get him some good artifacts. Let's hope we get some good, like, defense stat build up. I also think as well, what was, what was it, what was it said? It was said, wait a second, I have a photo somewhere, hold on, du -du -du -du. there we go. It doesn't matter about the flower or the feather, what really matters is getting defense. Um, what, oh, no, wait, yes I can. Uh, da -da -da. It was this one, the ah, oh, the circlet of logos. To get that as a defense stat, which I have. Uh, can I have that as a? Uh, can I have that as a five star artifact, please? Ah, uh, that is great. Ah, uh, I am angry. That was so evil! I did not want to see that! Oh! Man, that took a long time. Nice. Nice. Uh, but which is the one that we need for that? The kombucha. Ah, we would like geo damage. Really? I mean, it's still good. Still good. Because that's what we want. But we want geo damage. What's that one? Watatsumi. Crit damage. Okay. Crown of Watatsumi. Yeah, this is so Kokomi. I see Kokomi, like, with this build. That's... I'm actually really gutted that I, like, I tried for Kokomi at the end. I tried. Guys, opening box of Adeptitrix. Order guide you. Useless. Huh? Disappear. Tear. Worthless. Worthless. 
Caver! Ah, worthless! Ah, caver! Worthless! Well. Stabilize! Go! Illusion shattered! Torn to oblivion! Go Chi Chi. Cryo. Cryo. Really? We want Geo. I mean, it has O at the end, but no, we want Geo, not Cryo. Uh, uh, if I can have that as a Geo damage with like crit rate and crit damage and then defense that, that'd be great. I'd love that. Please. Please. This is order. Rise. Shine down. Now you shall perish. Illusion shattered. Inazuma shines eternal. Life goes on. Orders given. Orders received. Yeah. Emergency countermeasures aren't my thing. Boy, evil conquering is worthless. Forty, nice. Forty one, nice. Come on. Yes, forty two, yes. All that crit damage. Oh, yes. Physical damage bonus. <laughs> HP, crit damage, nice, okay. Defense, <laughs> but still, nice. I guess it's, I can have that. It's something, I mean, it would be better if it was Geo, but it's not, but okay, we can, you know, we can live with that, it's copium. Leave the arena. Geo damage bonus. Defense. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. 
Da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 That is not bad. That is. <laughs> that could be a good one. That could be a good one. Obviously, we're going to do this last one and then have a look at the good pieces. Stabilize. Order guide you. Lament. Worthless. Useless. Worthless. I mean, 1 minute 20 is roughly, like, really good. Ah, oh, we didn't get any good stuff. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Fair. Okay, that is all of our resin. Um, there is forge. Oh yeah, we have to start again now because of uh, you know the new battle pass. I've already got stuff ready. It's not the easiest thing to mine. Oh, get ready for next week. Do 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 do. Oh wait. Do we have new recipes? Oh, wait. No, we've got all them recipes. Sorry, girl. Oh, Garo and Aimiko. Okay. <laughs> there is still one thing I need to check, though. Well, there's a few things, but, you know. Huh. Is this finally open? I want to know if this is finally open. Are you going to say no? Sincere apologies. Ugh. Huh. Annoyed. <laughs> That's all I have to say, annoyed. I'm annoyed that the Sakura Blossom thing is not released yet. I'm... Ugh, angry. Oh, 
Oh, right, okay. I really okay. can't recommend that store highly enough. A couple more visits and you'll find that the fur on your tail is silky smooth. A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender, loving care. <laughs> Don't you agree? Uh, it, no need. I'm not <coughs> interested in that kind of thing. Oh, come on. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You say that, but do I see your ears saying otherwise? He needs a good scratch. Although your tail isn't professionally maintained, the fur doesn't look dry and coarse. To me, this says you like to take care of it. I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. Oh my god. How do you know? <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. I'm a high-ranking general of Watatsumi Island. How could I do such a thing? <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. Really? W wait, no. Why are we still on this topic? In fact, why am I even here talking about tails with you in the first place? Why? Because you are blessed with a wonderful fluffy tail, that's why. I think it's very cute. I agree, Aimeko. Garo's tail is so fluffy and cute. Oh, I'm trapped. How do I get out of this? It's you! Oh, thank goodness. Please save me. <laughs> oh, and how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? I didn't expect to meet you here. We were just talking about tails. Goro has a beautiful tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? <laughs> Steal a glass. Hey, not you too. <laughs> <laughs> Goro, now do you understand how appealing your tail is? Uh, pardon me. Lady Gucci, we have completed the matter you instructed us about previously. We have selected a very skilled artist to be in charge. I'm confident that the finished product will be to your satisfaction. I'll take a look later, and if everything's in order, place it in front of the store. All right. I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. <laughs> I wish you both a fun-filled time on Narukami Island. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. I hadn't counted on running into her. <sighs> I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. I've hmm. never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically. Something about her is strangely intimidating. Oh, that's just how she is. I could probably deal with her in battle, but I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I guess this is a weakness of mine. No, it's okay. <sighs> You're right. I've heard Her Excellency say the same thing before. In any battle, you need to think about how to avoid your shortcomings. As long as I don't come into contact with Yaimiko, everything should be fine. It should, it should. Really? <sighs> well, it's a relief to hear that. Don't forget it was Yaimiko who helped us stop, In that case, you know, I still have some riding shotgun go crazy. The publishing house. They run a monthly magazine called That's Life, which has an advice column. Readers write in about their problems, and I'm responsible for responding to them. I'm not quite sure why they chose me, but it's my job now, and I can't give it up just like that. Yai Miko just handed me the latest batch of readers' letters. Uh, let's find a place to write the replies, then pack them up and send them back to Yai Publishing House. Okay. <clears throat> Um, 
is there a specific location that we need to go? Yes, okay. place looks nice and quiet it does why don't we write the replies here the sooner I get them finished and handed back to the publisher the sooner we can go do something else I just hope I don't have another run-in with uh, you know who at the Yai publishing house later anyway the writing could take me some time the questions I receive are often so strange that I have to think long and hard about how to best answer them great let's write the replies together I'm actually interested to hear your perspective. Let me see here. Mm. Today, a new guy came to our village. He was good looking and had a lovely voice. When I peeked at him from behind the door, I felt my cheeks getting hotter and my heart started beating faster and faster. <sighs> see, I can tell right away that this is exactly the kind of question I'm no good at dealing with. The letter seems to be from a young lady, which is not a demographic where I can offer much expertise. What's your take? Hmm, well, I don't know what it's like to be in love, but if... I'll reply like this then. <clears throat> it's likely that the feelings you're experiencing right now won't occur many times in your life. I urge you to summon the courage to seize this opportunity and see where it takes you, no matter where that may be. What? Really? But that's how it is in battle, too. Opportunities to seize victory are fleeting. When they arise, you have to capitalize on them right away. I imagine it's the same in love. My neighbor is always borrowing money from me, but never seems to be able to pay me back on time. I have tried subtly raising the issue in conversation several times, but he always finds a way to dodge my questions. He was kind to me when I was young. I don't want to make things ugly, but the money issue bothers me a lot. Mm. If this is a dispute between neighbors, it must be settled as soon as possible. It's like when conflict arises between generals in the army. The proper policy is to resolve it without delay. And the most important thing in military regulations is fairness. It is only right to pay back a debt. I want to suggest that the writer demands their money back in no uncertain terms. Do you think that makes sense? Okay, so let me think. Mm, okay. Hello, I was born on Narukami Island and now I'm a soldier in the resistance. So... This is from one of my troops? Mm, most likely. Before passing any reader's letters on to me, Yai Publishing House has their staff copy each one by hand and redact all names in the process. So I can't be sure who exactly this is. I couldn't turn a blind eye to the Vision Hunt Decree, and my anger drove me to join the Resistance. My comrades and I have fought side by side, and I have formed deep friendships with them. Since we achieved our goal and the war came to an end, I have remained on Watatsumi Island. But this is not my hometown, and I often find myself dreaming of the cherry blossoms falling on Narukami Island. I now don't know whether to stay here or return home. The Resistance has treated me well, and I've long been disillusioned by the Shogunate. But my hometown tugs constantly at my heartstrings. How should I reply to him? Well, let me think about it. To be blunt, I obviously don't want any soldiers under my command to leave. But if making them stay causes them pain, how are my actions any different from the Vision Hunt Decree? I suppose I'll reply... Hmm. Narukami Island has changed. You should go back and visit. <sighs> that should do it. I'll be okay. Aww. Thanks to you, writing the responses went very smoothly this time. Let's go and deliver. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, that's really that was really sad. <laughs> we. Great. That's all the replies for this round accounted for. Uh, thank you for all your hard work, Miss He... <clears throat> uh, Mr. Goro. I think nothing of it. I agreed to help, so it's only right that I do the best I can. 
Could I trouble you to come back to Watatsumi Island with me? I want to find that soldier. Not to persuade them to stay, I just... I don't want them to leave without saying goodbye. Kazuha once told me that the bonds between people whose paths have crossed can never be broken, even after they part ways. But maybe I'm scared he might be wrong. People can change quickly, and I worry that the next time I meet my comrade, who fought so bravely alongside me, there will already be... Great! Then let's head off whenever... Ah, oh, come on. A friendship path. Oh. You're right in the middle, aren't you? Uh, let's do this one. It's actually been a long while since I've been in Watatsumi Island. General Goro! A and Captain of Swordfish too. General Captain! Are you here to inspect the camp? Uh, not this time. I just thought I'd come by to catch up while everyone has some downtime. Certainly, General Goro. Anything you want to discuss, we'll share whatever we know. But we haven't been out of the camp lately, so <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of interesting stories. Actually, I've had something on my mind and wanted to ask everyone's thoughts on the matter. You see... After the war, Her Excellency streamlined the army, and a lot of people were transferred to other duties. Do you... still have much contact with each other? Uh, to be honest, not much. We're so busy even with just training and patrolling that it's almost impossible to squeeze in the time to meet up. We, we have holidays, but we usually use them to go home and spend time with our nearest and dearest, and besides... Everyone's vacations come at different times, and our, our schedules rarely overlap. Yeah, I'm busy when they're free, and they're busy when I'm free. Anyway, even if we did manage to meet up, what then? We all do different jobs now, and we all have new friends who aren't mutually acquainted. <laughs> I'm not sure what we'd talk about. Uh, so that's really how it goes, huh? I know. It's okay. You know, having said all that... There, there's something else that I've always felt about this. Really? Yes. I feel that no matter how long we're apart, and no matter what we might go through in the meantime, all of us will be straight back here if Watatsumi Island is ever in danger. <laughs> Even if we've all changed beyond recognition, we can always trust that we've got each other's backs. And that's one thing that's never gonna change. Where are your troops, General Goro? You trained us, you took us into battle, and led the way as we charged against the enemy. Even if we seldom keep in contact now, we are still brothers in arms. If you say the word, we will all pick up our weapons again at a moment's notice. Oh, how nice. Long live the resistance. <laughs> yes, that's the way it should be. Long live the resistance. I won't disturb you any further. You guys keep training hard. Regarding everything else, I'm sure it'll all be fine. Ah. Ah, General Goro, you're here. I believe Hiroaki's been hoping to catch you. He's been waiting at the camp for a long time, but never saw you return. Are you planning to head back to camp later? If you're busy, I can go and let him know so he's not waiting there in vain. Tell him I'll be right over. I know what I have to do now. Come with me. Let's head to the camp. Denjiro is right. No matter what changes the future may bring, we will always have each other's backs. Sure, there may be some awkward silences when we meet again after a long time, but in no time at all, we'd be the best of friends again. General Goro, I... I... I would like to request permission to leave the Resistance, sir. I know this may seem very abrupt, and, in fact, I've only just made the decision. It's all right. Back then, I had so much hatred for the Vision Hunt Decree, and so much disappointment in Narukami Island for supporting it. But after the war ended, I wanted to go back and visit, but I still couldn't make up my mind. 
Thanks to Miss Hina's encouragement, I was finally able to find the courage to talk to you about it. Of course, if you disapprove, I'll obey your orders. I, I am your subordinate, after all. Miss Hina? Who's that? It's a long story. Forget it. Never mind her. I approve your application to leave the Resistance. General Goro, I... Come on, don't look so down. It's not like we're never going to see each other again. If you ever have the time, you should come back and visit Watatsumi Island. There's no need to limit yourself to a specific place. Just do what you want to do. No matter where we are, we will always be comrades. <laughs> I think it's funny that he's using an alias name to write fan letters. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Hina. <laughs> yes, General. Oh, funny. <clears throat> I wonder if we'll talk I'll about take it. Take my leave then. Take care of yourself, General Goro. Take care. I was. That was okay. Or should I say, it was for the best. This is how it should be. It should leave you with a smile on your face. Just like this. Ah, that's cute. Oh wow. Okay. And there's only five endings. Oh wait, what was it? Guide to light. Okay. Let's do betas. Of course, it's going to be on her ship. Right. Um. Oh, there's loads of crystal flies. Come on. Did that just disappear on me? Rude. Fine. Huh. Off to see Beto. I wonder if I'll get like a hundred and uh, sixty intertwined fates ready for Ito. Stabilize. Excuse me. You saw that. I just fell. <laughs> Come on. <clears> Hope <throat> you get. Come on, Zhao. It's been a long time since I've done this. I think the last time 
you know, we went to the ship was uh, on the way to Inazuma. And that was, what, in 2.0? Exactly... Eighteen weeks ago. Oh. If it's every if every patch is every six weeks, then every six weeks <laughs> leading up to this well, one would, would be Looks like it's eighteen. Going to be a day to remember. Guys, two point three, two point two, two point one, two point oh yeah. Ahoy there, traveler. <laughs> so Captain really did invite you to join the homecoming celebration. Hey, I heard that you took care of another crisis while you were in Inazuma. Are the rumors true? That's what I heard, too. Thanks to you, Inazuma's vision hunt decree was finally put to an end. Well done, Traveler. Captain's got quite the eye for people. She said she was sure that your trip to Inazuma would stir up some waves. And sure enough... <laughs> All I wanted was to have a chat with the Electro Archon. <laughs> I want to do this. <laughs> Look at you being so modest. We all know what you did to protect Liyue Harbor. I've heard that they tell stories about you and Mondstadt, too. The Honorary Knight. Pretty impressive. <laughs> I'd say someone of your caliber would be right at home in the Kratz. Right, sailors? <laughs> That's right. Wow, I'm getting excited just thinking of being the Traveler's crewmate. Hey, what do you say we arm wrestle? <laughs> I was worried you'd be too busy to show up. <sighs> Mahoyo, why did you do that to Beto? Did you guys notice that the way she walked, her boobs were jiggling far too much? Oh. Captain on deck! Uh, Captain, we were just trying to talk the Traveler into joining the crew. Yeah, come on, Captain Beto. Surely you've got a way to get the Traveler on board. Oh, he's on board right now for the celebration, isn't he? True, true, true that. We're gonna have some cake. <laughs> yeah, but just one celebration together is not enough. You know what we mean, Captain. All right, all right, I get it now. There is something special about you, Traveler. You earned everyone's respect, myself included. So it goes without saying that the Crux would be honored to have a crew member such as yourself. Oh, that'd be nice. But we're too much of like free birds, and plus, as soon as we get our sister back, after traveling the whole of Tavar, we'll be going back home to ourselves, in our own little world. So technically we're aliens. No doubt about that. But then again, a hero like yourself doesn't just set off on a journey without some bigger purpose in mind. So should a hero really drop what they're doing just to spend day after day drifting at sea with us? Oh, if that were the case, then the Crux, known for always moving forward to the next horizon, would instead be holding someone back. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you'll be holding right. us back. Uh, I guess we didn't think that part through. Remember... Rather than seeking out strong members to join us, you should be focusing on making yourselves the strongest that you can be. If we are powerful, they will come to us. Isn't that why everyone here chose to come aboard in the first place? Yes. A strong sailor is always looking for a sturdy ship. I guess I almost forgot the first lesson you ever taught me. Thanks for the reminder, Captain. <laughs> Just be sure you all keep that in mind. Now there's no more need to hound the Traveler, as you were. The Traveler and I have something to discuss. I'm glad you came. Welcome back aboard. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take that. Some rumors have it that the leader of the Crux is so powerful that she could slay the mighty Leviathan Hyshawn without breaking a sweat. I can't go getting too caught up in my own reputation, though. That's certainly not how the Crux made it to where we are today. As the head of the fleet, my task is to keep us on the right course, no matter how turbulent the seas may become. But then again, the crew isn't usually this riled up. It's not that they're arrogant, they're just bubbling with ambition, that's all. Their excitement today comes from their great respect for you. 
both your strength and your character. So please, don't take it the wrong way. All good then, great. Actually, speaking of Inazuma, I think your good luck must have rubbed off on me on the way over. I made an interesting find on the beach shortly after we parted ways. Let's talk about it over there, where it's a little quieter. Oh. So after we dropped you off in Rito, we found a shipwreck nearby. Probably belonged to Inazuman pirates. We searched the wreckage and found a map. At first, I thought it was a nautical chart. I was thinking we might discover a new sailing route if we were lucky. But after a closer look, I realized it wasn't a map of the sea at all. It was a Liyue treasure map, and no ordinary one at that. Um, nothing like that. <laughs> I just mean that the map was a mess. So it was the most I could do to figure out that the treasure was probably in Lyra. As for its exact location, I have no idea. I'd say I've explored Liyue pretty extensively, but still, this one managed to beat me. So, I thought of you. Nobody can beat you when it comes to treasure hunting on land, right? Is that right? <laughs> well then, it looks like I'm in good hands. Here's the map, see what you can make of it. Oh my so, god, that is awful. What do you think it is? Where do I think that is in Leeway? Is that Lingli Pool? Oh. <laughs> Neither. <sighs> I don't know. It, um, Gilly Plains. I think it was Chinsey Village. Chinsey Village. I don't see the resemblance at all. How'd you come to that conclusion? Oh. I'm definitely a rookie at this. <laughs> but you're coming with me, of course. I'll need you to help me zero in on the specific. Wait. Yeah, I really, uh, I really thought it was Lu, uh, Lu, uh, Lu, Lu Ha Pool. See, that's Chinsey Village and uh, Gilly Plains. Yeah, I don't think it was Gilly Plains. Maybe it was Gilly Plains, and I'm just being a really pool. I'm just being a tool. <laughs> maybe, maybe it was Gilly Plains. Maybe. Okay. Well, we chose. Um, you know, well, we chose this, so uh, we're we're going to this. Ah, Pedro! Wow, and the traveler! My goodness, what's the occasion? Just here to visit us old folks once again? It hasn't been all that long since we last had a visit from the Crux. But I'm glad you picked today. You're just the people I need. These two young rascals. They've been arguing with each other non-stop about some petty nonsense or other. I'm too old to get through to them. They won't listen to me. Please, talk some sense into them. Rest assured, Granny Zhuoshin. Whatever the situation is, the Traveler and I will take care of it. And that's one thing that we uh, always have to do is like just oh, break up goodness. arguments. It's Captain Beto. You couldn't have come at a better time. You're the voice of reason I need in this situation. Captain, please help me get justice. 
<laughs> Get justice. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. What exactly is going on here? Spit it out. Tell me everything. It makes me mad just talking about it. G here? I don't know if he's got a screw loose or what his problem is. But anyway, he took it upon himself to raise, well, practically a whole army of benches, okay? And now guess what? They fly onto my land and completely destroy at least half of my crops. I asked him to pay compensation, but he refused. Now how is that fair? Captain, I'm innocent. They're not even my finches. I, I just thought they looked kind of cute, you know, so I fed them a couple of times. They're wild birds, though. A couple times? Are you kidding me? That's rich. Really rich. There were two of them when you first started. Two finches. Now you have a whole roof full of finch nests. I swear, every time I come by your place, I think I'm at a bird market. I'm telling you, you are not gonna get away with this anymore. So, yeah, I mean, they laid a few eggs, made a few nests, but finches gotta finch, you know? These are wild birds. I mean, they'll do whatever they please. So that's how it is. I think I got the picture. Hmm. What's your take? Yeah, you have a point. Gee, let's say I'm interested in buying these finches off you. What would you say to that? Are you serious, Captain? Oh, that would be great. Honestly, with all this trouble they've been causing me lately, they've become a bit of a burden. So if you're happy to take them off my hands, that would be perfect. All right, deal. My only condition is, you have to use some of the money to compensate Wen Jing for her losses. Oh, come on. But I never raised them, did I? Well, you tell me. You took my deal, that means you admitted to being the owner, doesn't it? Otherwise, what gives you the right to sell them to me? Captain Beto's right. If you didn't raise them, what makes you think you can go taking her money for them, huh? I, uh, <laughs> well... Don't worry. My offer includes plenty left over for you after deducting the compensation. This way, you get something back for looking after them. Okay, then. Okay. I'll pay the compensation. I hope you two are very grateful indeed to Beto. I dare say no one else will be quite so accommodating toward the people of our village. Granny Zhuoshin, as you know, many of the boys from your fine village do sterling work for the Crux. The fleet wouldn't be what it is today without them, so please think nothing of it. Gee, Wenjing, I guess you're free to go. Captain Beto! Captain Beto, you're here! Pop Shang! It's been a long time. How've you been? <sighs> Don't get me started. I've been having some real trouble with that neighbor of mine, Jen. We keep having the same argument, and it just goes nowhere. I heard you were in the village, so I rushed over to seek your help. What's the issue? Well, come with me. You'll see. Let's go find Jen and clear this whole thing up, face to face. Is he young? Yes, he's young. C Captain Beto, you're here. <laughs> I heard that you and Pop Shing had a little misunderstanding. So, what's up? Tell me about it. <sighs> Jen planted a tree on his property a few years back. I had no issue with it at the time. It's just a tree. But a few years on, it's grown taller than the roof of my house. Every morning when I get up and open the window, I just want to feel the sun on my face. But I'm greeted instead by the looming shadow of my neighbor's tree. It really affects my mood. I asked Jen to cut it down so I could get some sunlight back on my property. But he said no. <sighs> it's like he's done this on purpose just to drive me crazy. 
Captain Beto, you gotta believe me. I didn't intend to block the sunlight, but there's nothing I can do about it now. It's not just any old tree, you see. That tree was planted there by my late father. Not long after he planted it, he passed away. And just before he passed, he left me with some parting words. He said our family's fortune was inauspicious and we needed something to suppress the bad luck. That's what he planted the tree for. How can I just chop it down? I'll be honest, I spent a few years studying in Liyue Harbor, so I don't actually share his superstitious beliefs. But still, that doesn't change the fact that this was my father's dying wish. Okay, I think I'm all clear on the situation. What are you thinking? Mm, I was thinking along the same lines as you. Look, Pops, I'm not trying to make excuses for Jen, but just try putting yourself in his shoes for a moment. Jen's desire to protect his tree isn't for money or because he wants to hurt anyone, or for the sake of any superstition. He just wants to honor his father's dying wish. Pops, you have kids too, right? <sighs> yeah. <sighs> when you put it like that... Pops, if you can agree to it, I'll have a word with Granny Zhuoshin and see about getting you some money from the relief fund, as compensation for having your sunlight blocked. As for the tree... Uh, that sounds good to me. The tree can... Some compensation would make me feel much better. Thank you, Captain Beto. And thank you for understanding, Pops Xing. I'll make sure to trim it back when I get home to let some more light through. It'll be such a relief not to have to worry about this anymore. On a separate note... I remember the Crux last visited the village not very long ago. Is there some special reason why you're back in person so soon? <laughs> Nothing all that special, just personal reasons. Huh? Treasure? W wait a second. That reminds me, I saw Chong Ping and Defu arguing in the fields earlier. It, it, it sounded like they were both trying to lay claim to some treasure. I, I don't know if it's related to the one you're looking for, but, but anyway, they're probably still there now. Really? Okay, well, you and Pop Shing can go about your business now. I'll go see what the situation is. <laughs> okay. Uh. Wait, where is it? Is it up there? It's so small. Can I get this? Jeez. Ah, oh, missed. Ah, there we go. Huh? Beto, you're just in time. Devu is being completely unreasonable. What happened? I'm not being unreasonable, Captain. I got Chung Ping to help me plow my land because it's the busy season. And then, what do you know? He plows up a treasure chest. The way I see it, it's my land. So the treasure belongs to me, right? I think it's a pretty clear cut case. You say that, Devu. But what you're forgetting is that I came to help you plow your fields out of the goodness of my heart. And you haven't paid me a single mora. It was also my plowing that turned up this chest. However you cut it, surely I'm entitled to at least some of the treasure. <laughs> the domestic drama just keeps coming today. What are your thoughts? Okay, I think I'm up to speed here. If you two really want to take this further, I can get a legal expert from Liyue Harbor to adjudicate. As for the costs, I'll cover them. What do you think? Uh, uh... Neither of you seems thrilled about this course of action. Okay, I'll be straight with you. The reason I came here today was to look for some treasure. Chances are it's hiding right there in the chest you're both fighting over. So, how about you two stop fighting over it and do me a favor by handing it to me? Of course, I'll be indebted to both of you. If either of you ever needs anything in the future, the Crux will not hesitate to lend you our support. Captain, you're far too kind, really. Indebted? That won't be necessary. If you want the- Yep, totally agree. <laughs> if I'd known you were looking for this chest, you should have said something. I would have delivered it to you personally to save you the trip. It seems like it's been quite a busy day for you, helping us settle all our little quarrels. Come on, let's go to the village. I'll rally the masses. We'll get some good food and good drink and have a good old get together. Don't worry about the chest. I'll carry it over. Ah, uh, that's nice. And then the little Zhao is just like, yeah, I'm just gonna skip gaily going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait until night time. Okay. Wait until nap time. 
Wait, nap time. I would love a nap, Hatch. I would love a nap. I want a nap. <laughs> it's too late for a nap. It's like... 8 p.m. Take part in the village. A banquet. Wait, I haven't done this? Wait, I want to do this. Wait. Oh. Oh. This is horrible. I'm not doing this. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I don't want to change character. No, no, sorry. No, bye. What a fine day today has been. Beto has solved an awful lot of problems in our village. She sure has. Without Captain Beto, that compensation payment would have bankrupted me. Yeah, and if it weren't for Captain Beto, I'd still be arguing with Pops Xing. Hear, hear. We have plenty to thank Captain Beto for, I'm sure. I propose a toast in her honor. To Captain Beto. Cheers. I couldn't ask for more than the chance to get everyone together and drink to our heart's content. Cheers! Whew, that really hit the spot. Want to get some air? The view in this place is pretty good. We can take a look through the contents of that chest while we're at it. Chang Ping placed it by the water wheel. Nice. Are you kidding? Beto can handle her liquor. Come on, come on, let's go. <laughs> so, I've been thinking. Everyone seems to trust me enough to let me have the final word on their disputes. But don't you think some of my solutions can be a little stupid? You can laugh, I don't mind. Take Chungping and Dafu's wrangling over that chest, for instance. I had no clue who it should belong to, so I just came up with this stupid idea of taking it for myself. At least that way, neither of them would feel like it was unfair. But, I mean, I'm no Ningguang. I can't make a perfect deal every time. And I'm no Yunfei, either. Not all my judgment calls are going to be 100% fair and square. I am Beidou. And my strength is in trading favors. <laughs> you think I should be more selective? Some people think their favors are so valuable that they need to plan out how and when to use them to maximize the return on their investment. They view the favor as a bargaining chip. Others see doing favors as a burden, not worth anything in monetary terms and prone to getting you locked in a cycle of constantly returning the favor back and forth. But the way I see it, Favors are what keep people connected to one another. Over thousands of years, the people of Liyue have created bonds between each other by doing someone a favor here and asking for a favor there. This means that no individual is truly on their own out there. When someone falls down, there's an invisible net made of human connections, waiting to catch them and get them back on their feet. I never thought Beidou's story would be really sentimental. Over the years, I've come to owe favors to a great many people. And many other people have come to owe me one. These are the countless bonds between us, like so many fish in the sea. And they're the reason that the Crux and I have survived the countless hardships we faced. I believe that if there ever comes a day when the world is overrun by monsters, Liyue's legal system collapses and the land is thrust back into an age of war, it's these bonds that will see us all through the dark days ahead, until we come out on the other side. I'm not saying that. 
But either way, we have a pretty firm bond between us already, don't you think? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Was this wind brewed in a winery? It's making me lightheaded. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Something we were literally just talking about. Oh, yeah, the chest! <laughs> Oh, I got so immersed in our conversation that I forgot all about the main event. <laughs> Come on, let's open it up and see what's inside. <laughs> oh, that's it? A whole lot of nothing? It's not exactly what I was looking for. But you know what? I don't care. The fun part was going on a treasure hunt with you. Come on, let's get back to the party. Tonight, we go big before we go home. <laughs> oh, I love that photo. Can I save it? Okay, yeah. Save to my device. Yay, I like it. Just Beto getting drunk. <laughs> it's not every day you see that. Ah, uh, we can do more later. There we go, number one. I kinda wanna do it again. Just because we've just got a lot of farming to do. Oh yeah, this is Beto's. Okay. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we'll use one. This is just so cool. Wait, that was new. Damn it. Now you 
shall perish! Okay. I got three again. Nice. Attack crit rate. Nice. Awesome. Cool. And we got more than the first time. Nice. Uh, okay, one more Serai Island. And then we'll have a look at... Um, and then we'll just have a look at what we got. Oh, yeah. And then we also need to pick up the... Um, Um, the uh, Inazuma um, quests. Wait, it's the uh, reputation reward. Yes, I mean I'm fully um, maxed. It's just nice to just pick it up. Stabilize. Are they literally staying still for me? Yeah, stay still for me. Nice, thank you for staying still and then dying. And I think that is the quickest that is I've ever done it so far. 113. Nice. Oh, come on. No. I feel like I wasted my, um... No, I didn't. No. Well, let's not think that. No. We didn't waste it. We didn't waste a fragile resin. No. Because we got some more of the, uh, Rift Hound, uh, rewards. Which is nice. So, let's go to the shop. Let's see how many stuff we've got. Okay. Bennett and Mona. Okay. How long have we got left? We got six days. Six days?! I honestly really thought that we had... Oh wait. It's the 24th... Yeah! Oh wow, okay, never mind. Oh wow. A. What are we like on the wishes? 44. Uh, do you think I can get 100 by the end in like 19 days? <laughs> Let's actually see, like, how we'll do... Because, what, we started the... We started this patch with 36? 38. We started at 38. So, let's just keep on going. Let's see how many we actually get. Um, by the end of, uh, 19 days. So, 19 days from now. Um, let's... See how many we get, and wish for Ito and Garo. But for now, let's have a look at these artifacts, because we did get a good few. We could, um, uh, oh yeah, this is the one, the physical damage bonus. Um, oh, getting rid of this. And... This is the flower, um... I kinda wanna use that one, because I'm so used to having... And then I want this one, is that... Uh, uh. He scales off defense, doesn't he? Uh, 
Eh. Physical damage bonus. I have a feeling that this is going to be a really good item. Right, let's just do it. Okay, let's just do it. Oh, wait. Just because I know he's going to be scaling off defense, I actually don't mind. I, oh. I hate when I accidentally do that. Oh. I'm super okay with this. Can it be crit damage again? Attack, I'm okay, I'm okay with this. <laughs> no consumables fans. <laughs> Right, let's just pick out the worst ones. I have a feeling that's going to be amazing. I have to keep that one. I might have to keep that one. I can get rid of that one. I now don't know about that one. I really want to know if it's crit damage. <laughs> I'm so close. I'm so close. I just really want to know if this ends in crit damage. <laughs> it's gonna be one of them. Tune in again tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm really gonna hate myself tomorrow. Oh my gosh. My gosh. I mean, not a bad first item though. Hey, it's awesome. Oh. Oh yeah, this is what I'm dealing with. I feel like it's okay. I mean, I'd love if I had the um, primordial uh, jade spear, but I guess that's what I'm also saving up as well for. Um, if, even if it's on the Zhao rerun banner, I will be like get trying my best to get that weapon as well. So I'm I'm pretty okay right now. Yeah, I'm triple crown C two uh, C zero. I I feel like I've done really well with Zhao. Well, I've managed to do Ayaka really well as well. I mean, Ayaka is now 2461, you know. I, I, I've not got a good enough weapon for her, so it's the Amaminoma uh, Kagayuchi. And then an A4 piece Blizzard, Blizzard set. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, her crit is uh, 204. <laughs> so, uh, you know. As a jeweler cherishes their gems. Wait till I get a good weapon for her. Because she's beautiful. And Toma, well, Toma is just beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. How much do you need for that? Okay, I'm... So heavy. 
Oh, Klee is so cute. Uh, Shogun, uh, uh, my most uh, powerful, you know, my strongest. What's my crit? Eh, still a bit low on the crit damage though, but my energy recharge is 188. I'm pretty sure there's like more stuff to do. In fact, that's probably one thing I haven't done yet. Go in the serenity, serenity part and... You know. And do what I need to do there. Because we've restarted on the... Bile Pass. This realm is... Realm Depot. Oh. Leisure Device ry Rhythmic Sprinter. This combination of furnishing was created by Tubby herself, and it is made from the activation panel and the destination ring interacted with the activation panel. To begin with the time trial challenge, step into the destination ring to stop your timer. You can view your game records on the activation panels. Uh, combine these mechanisms with the realm within the various furnishings to form all sorts of time attack tracks. I don't know if I want that. What's the new stuff? Oh. Oh yeah, it's um military exercise because um if oh I don't want to buy it. Uh, Kuju Sara, it's not this then. Uh, Sayu in Kokomi, Wakefield Springs, Garo, there we go, and uh, Lingering Moment. Uh, furnishings, is there a new one, Furnishings? Oh yeah, these are new. And the floating rocks are not new. Okay, um... Okay. I've just still yet to uh, sort some stuff out, so... Okay, that's new. Uh, create furnishings. Okay, we can finally accept these. No, I need that still. Oh. Alright. Still got quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of stuff to make, which is always good. Uh, trust rank. Oh, there we go. If you ever have. Oh yeah, I got flowers to make as well. Well, that's it from the teapot. Um... And we're already halfway through that. <laughs> Seriously, look at that. <laughs> We've almost done 10 domains today alone. <laughs> halfway through that, that'll probably be ready tomorrow. Um, eh. Shall we do this tomorrow? Do the weekly bosses? I don't mind. The damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. 
thank you. Uh, watch out for that. So, I think I might leave it here for today. If I, if I, in fact, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How many Oni Kabuto do we need? I need 168. I'm missing four more now. Well, let's just chill for a little bit more, and then we'll call it quits. I know the perfect place, though. So it's really just going to be an extra five minutes, which is not really... Um, <laughs> it's not really going to be much special, but this will sort of, like, complete it. Unless a new character pops out that demands, like, Oni Kabuto as well, then so be it. That free fall, though. Oh, <laughs> there we go. This is a really good place for Onu Kabuto. Huh? Ah, yes. Because they're all on this tree. And there's one there, isn't there? I'm pretty sure I saw one. Yeah, there is. I was like, you dare. You dare. Okay, on a couple of There we go. Um, there's a, there is an actual... There is, in fact, there is a really good place as well. If I, I'm just going to show you, like, I have enough now. That's just that little area. There's only a good few handfuls there, but this is a really good place. All you have to do is literally go into the caverns that is underneath the Raiden Shogun's house. And we'll just go up here. There should be this little cabin to the left. And uh, here, tucked away. See, there's one here. Then if you turn around, there's one on the wall. There's two literally talking to each other. There is one up here. And one down here. That's six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. There's just there's there's just a six here. Um, but no, it's a very good place. I mean, we are now one seventy seven. See, one six four, one seven seven. We've got like 13 in the space of like 5 minutes. 
And we only went to like two places. We also went here as well. There's like two here, but it's not enough. To, like these two places are like the best two places that you can go. And then, then and then the other one is um, Tartarasuna. Tartarasuna is a good place as well. In fact, there's actually two places. Um, there is actually two places where you can go. Uh, one of them you need... Is that force field? Yes. One of them... Um, you do need... This. So we'll just go through here. There you go, we're all done. So there's one here. There is one here, one here, one here, uh, is there another one? I mean there's four here right now, uh, and I think that was it. Yes, there was four. Um, <laughs> so there's that, if you carry on going further... There should be another one. Yep, I see one there. Oh, there's two here. I honestly thought it was just one. So there's one here. And then obviously here you've got some flies. I mean crystal cores. But yes, um, <laughs> literally just uh, butchered him. Um, so yeah, there's a good few, few there, and I think the last stop is just in the middle here. I mean, I see two right now, just there chilling on the wall, like, yo, I'm just chilling. So one, two, and go here. Two, three, oh, oh, we missed one. Okay, sorry. Four, sorry, go back up. I missed one. I've only done this a few times. Now where was it? Yeah, here. And five. So there we go, all done. So that is literally the route that I have been doing, mainly, to get Ito's Onu Kapato. And we're literally done. So, and now, now it's literally just get back here and be like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> so, um, after just finding only Kabuto, um, we have 189, I mean, one off from 90. I mean, we've just almost found, I can't do quick math. I'm trying to do quick math. I'm really, really sorry. Almost 30? Like, 26? 
Almost 26? I think it's 26. Did we just find like 26 like straight off the bat? I mean, wait. We'll just say 26. It may be 25, but 26. It's a, it's an even number. But yeah, we we you know we done. You know we did really well. So yes. So if you haven't already, um, follow me on Twitch, um, or even su subscribe to me on YouTube. After this video will um, be moved, well, this stream will be on move to YouTube. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. I uh, hope you enjoyed my videos. And let's look forward to the 2.3 patch. I, so far, it's been nice. It's been nice to just sort of chill game. You know, it's been really, really nice. But hopefully when we start to have some story content, it'll be great. And hopefully we'll have more artifacts to try and... You know, finish off the rest of the um, that artifact build because you know we're trying to get some Ito. You know, we really want to try and get a good Ito set straight off the bat. See what his damage is all about. Get him good. Get him like, you know, kind of like because if you've not seen him yet, he is just a dream. And to be honest, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to having Ito in my party. I can't wait to just try and just like have double geo, you know, that's kind of cohesive. This is supposed to be like the 2.3 uh, geo patch, so all geos are going to be buff. So I'm looking forward to that. Hope you guys are looking forward to that too. Um, but yes, super excited. Can't wait until... I'm sorry to say I can't wait until Albedo and Eula go. Because I just really want Ito. So now I'm waiting like 19, like this extra 19 days, like, oh, I can't wait. But it's kind of good because it's allowing me to save. But also, um, I'll, I'll be um, trying to get the banner as well. So that's going to be, well, the weapons banner, which is uh, going to be a bit difficult. <laughs> so I got a lot of saving to do. <laughs> but yes, thank you for watching. Um, it's been a pleasure. Gonna be signing off now. Enjoy the rest of your night. Stay safe and stay gaming. Thank you, gamers. Good night.